Hey everybody, this is Brian from PNB Homesteading, and I wanted to give the update for the salad bar LED area. I'm going to get the cover off here. I'll grab the camera and bring it on over. So this week we're going to be harvesting this. It's Sunday, and I'm going to be harvesting uh, these three trays for this week's veggies. You'll be able to see that we've got quite a bit of growth, and then I was going to point something out that these uh, larger beta mix, you can see I've got a little bit of sun scald on some of these from this light up here. And these are 19 inches above the, uh, the plants themselves, but you know, I'll just trim this piece off, but it's still edible. You know, it's got a little bit of sun on that one, a little bit of burn. But I'm gonna harvest this tray out this week. That's a beta salad mix, and then I'll take that, put it back in the tent. And then I'm gonna harvest the chard this week. We've got a lot of nice uh, Silverado chard here to harvest. So we're gonna have quite a full bowl of uh, salad greens. And here's the gourmet lettuce, and you can see as it's gotten taller, you can see that the purple in the leaves is really starting to come through. So this is going to be a really nice mix for uh, this week's uh, salads and as well for uh, Taco Tuesday. So then that's going to be a first cut on that one. This will be a first cut on this beta salad mix. I don't know why I keep the first cut sign in here. I'll probably take that out because this one here pretty much lives in this tent. So I like the Silverado chart because it's really a great come, cut and come again type uh leafy green for this tent and you can see that uh, there's not a whole lot of uh, dead ones in here I mean there's a few that have fallen in between but uh, a lot of full growth a lot of uh, nice full leaves I mean that's gonna be a really great uh, great one to pull out of here I think I'm gonna cut that and put it in a separate uh, separate uh, container because these are a, a stiffer leaf I mean, you can see how stiff these are I mean they really they really bounce back and they've got a nice thick uh, leaf so these are really great in a saute, whereas like these, they are stiff, but they're a little more supple. And then you can take these, like these bigger ones, we just dice these up, and put them into the, uh, the salad mix. They're really good also. I mean, look at the color on these guys. I mean, you got the nice yellows, you got the red, you got the nice white. I mean, it's that's really nice. And then I was mentioning in the, uh, the mid-size tent video this week about the uh, Astro Arugula, where I had got it a little bit too saturated, it's still really wet and so on this this bench here I'm also going to be putting in a plastic tray that will sit here and these 1022 grow uh, trays will actually sit in it the ones with the holes in them and I'm gonna put a drain on the back side of that plastic tray and it'll drain down into a uh, five gallon bucket underneath here so that way I'll be able to recover that water so it's not wasted and not dripping into my storage area here and getting onto the you know the, the underlayment woods or anything like that and then I'll just dump that in the tomato you know, the concrete mixing trays that I have underneath my tomato bags in the large tent, and it'll just suck up that water, you know, through time. But uh, yeah, I was pretty disappointed when I uh, when I pulled out this tray this last week and I saw what the uh, overwatering had done to it. So I'm, I'm trying to see if I can bring this back, as well as uh, you know, get some you know valuable arugula harvest because I do like the taste of that. It gives it a nice spicy flavor inside your uh, salads. But I'm going to probably consider this tray a loss, and I'm not going to do a, uh, a second cut on this. I'll just take this tray and probably just dump it out on my compost heap. And that'll be it for it, and I'll seed another tray of arugula and put it inside the mid-size grow tent. And once it has those drain holes, it should uh, alleviate this problem that I've had with the overwatering and underwatering conditions that I experienced. Because, you know, without drain holes, you just kind of wait until you see it start to look like it's filled. You shut it off and then you wait to see if it soaks in and sometimes it doesn't soak in all the way and that's kind of a, a little bugaboo with the uh, grow tents and using these type of trays whereas people like you know like Curtis Stone I mean I don't know if you guys have ever checked out his channel he has a grow area and they you know where he does all of his seed starts and he uses these uh, paper pot transplanter trays now as one of his main type of trays to use and it's got a nice, nice little grid on the bottom to where he just goes and waters, he has it on a table and that water just drains into a giant bucket down underneath and he uses that on his other plants outdoors or inside of his uh, hoop houses and his caterpillar tunnels. But anyway, that's a little segue off of uh, some of the different YouTube channels that I watch. But uh, that's kind of the update for the uh, salad bar LED. Uh, lights are doing great, temperature. Oh, one thing I did do is I took the, uh, the temperature and I dropped it down. I was running it at about 76 degrees in this. And I thought I'd try dropping it down to around 71. So it's, you know, you can see that it's maintaining about a temperature of 71. I don't know if that's flickering on the camera or not. But uh, that's what I'm running this 
table bench out with the uh, the heating pads that are underneath here. And uh, the lights keep it warm overnight. I mean, the temperature is consistently down here underneath our storage area, right around 64 degrees. And that's a nice growing temperature for these leafy greens. All right, let me spin the camera back around here. This has been Brian from PB Homesteading. I hope this is inspiring some of you guys to start growing some of your own microgreens or uh, other types of herbs. All right, this has been Brian. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.